Good afternoon again, tube of use. Um, just dawned on me, I gotta turn off the radio, which I hate because I like working with a little bit of music, but, you know, the uh, copyright Nazis. But anyway, so here we are in a shop. So, surprise, surprise, surprise. Uh, we have managed to get some space cleaned out in the shop here. Um, so I've actually been working out of here. I apologize for being a little bit absent here for the last uh, couple months. Um, been really busy. Actually, this, uh, this whole little endeavor here has kept me very busy. I go straight from my day job at the shop to my night job at the shop. So I am mild-mannered mechanic by day and uh, grumpy, uh, greasy mechanic by night. Um, and I haven't had a lot of time to work on my own stuff. I've actually been... Well, I take that back. I have had time to work on my own stuff, but it's been vehicles that I'm prepping to sell and so on and so forth. Uh, so I just keep neglecting to turn on the camera. But now, as you can see, we have boxes of stuffs and things, which is awesome. Um, always fun to have boxes of stuff and things. And we have, obviously, a Fox Body Mustang. Um, and so you can kind of guess where this is all going. Um, and if you can't, stay tuned and you will see very shortly as I open my boxes of stuffs and things with lots of packing. Oh my goodness, does it ever stop coming? That's what she said. Holy moly, so much stuff and things. And it's coming, and it's coming, and it's coming. That's, again, what she said. Holy moly, good lord, there is a lot of packing paper in this box. Ah, and as you can see, a tubular strut support brace, which is cool, because um, hopefully this year at Mustang Rally, I can be a little more competitive. But let's go ahead and move forward and then there's another box back there and we'll get to see that shortly too so let's get her done so step one is to remove the windshield wipers and the uh upper plastic shroud apparently i am going to have to drill some holes um so to do so I'll show you how such things are done. So you lift your wiper up like so, and well, sometimes you need a straight screwdriver to give you a little bit of a hand, which I will grab right now. So, if you lift your wiper arm up, there's a little tab here that you want to pry out, right there. And then, you can set your wiper back down because it'll rest against that. And you just lift your wiper arm off. Not a big deal at all. Do the other one. Like so. driver and we remove all of the screws in this shroud. Just gotta take all the screws in this cover piece off.
Then with all those screws out, we can lift this panel off after we disconnect the wiper washer hose. Oh, come on. I know it's gonna happen. I'm gonna break this damn thing, and then I'm gonna be mad. So, there we go there. Now, we can pop the hood and get, uh, get to laying that uh, strut tower brace in. Okay, so we got, uh, we got the strut tower brace laid in here. What you're gonna see back here, there's a hole where your uh, washer fluid line goes through. You kind of center it with that hole. And you are gonna have to push down on your AC lines a little bit. And it's okay to bend those just a touch, but you don't wanna bend them hard and just be a little mindful that uh, you know, there's some of this stuff that is gonna have to just kind of move around a bit to make this deal work. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you've got that hole access so you can still get your washer fluid line through there. <clears throat> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook that down and then I'm gonna mark my holes in the strut towers and my holes right here. And uh, then we'll do some drilling as scary as that sounds. Um, may have to move this solenoid on this side uh, and I should probably disconnect a battery cable so when that time comes I can easily get to it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and mark the holes there there two there and two over here on this side we're gonna get those drilled and then we can go to uh, bolting this thing in and checking for clearance making sure everything looks right so uh, hang in there for the next step um, something I should note is that there is some lines some wires that will have to be pulled away from their factory mounting locations and just moved up and over so they're not interfering with the bar. Um, so I will say with this BBK kit, if uh, with this BBK kit, if you are really worried about the uh, originality of your car, this is probably not the kit that you want to use because um, you are going to have to mess with some stuff to make it work the way you want it to. But nonetheless, we will move forward. Well, YouTube, I have now molested my completely virgin sheet metal car now by drilling holes in an effort to, well, let's see, be competitive, I guess. Um, something I kind of been avoiding for a while, drilling these holes and doing this, but I kind of want to snip it up the chassis a little bit, and that is the whole point of doing this is so that we can firm up the chassis and hopefully make this thing corner a little better than it does. Not that it really corners bad, but you know, hey, more is always better, right? Let's see. We got these two bolts. But I have the strut tower brace aligned and everything is in shape where it is supposed to be. And I'm finding the proper fasteners here. So what we're gonna do is we'll take we're gonna take this spacer plate and we are going to drop it in behind here. And I shouldn't have done that quite like that, but um, ah, quit. So we've got one hole, and then we'll get. Two hole, and then we can go back behind here. That's why we had to remove that towel piece, was so we could go back behind and put uh, nuts and washers and the like back behind. So we're just going to start these. We're not going to go tight. Two. 
pros who know auto parts with tons of tips when you need them the most. If you want real value, don't go to a place with a cute name. Go to auto. Just Gear. like so. Be a better name. I didn't think so. Now, we're going to go ahead and take these 3 8 bolts, Allen head bolts, uh, whatever you will, and we're going to go ahead and start those in these bolts. This is why it's really important to try and get your alignment close, is because otherwise you've got to wall out the holes like I am going to have to do just a little bit, and that is not going to be good for handling tight scenarios. So, one thing I will encourage you to do is to go ahead and drill or line up this bottom bolt on either side first. What that's going to do is, is as long as you're down flush, it is going to help push the bar up against here like you want it. And then once I've got all of the bolts in their appropriate holes, then uh, we can go around and tighten everything up. So, just going to go just like this, put some down pressure on it. Go ahead and get that one. Get that one started. So we'll go like so. And drop that bolt in there. And that is not starting for some reason or another. Everything looks like it's. Ah, oh, there we go. Just fight with me a little bit. But we'll get that one. And we're going to drill this one. And then we'll drop all the bolts in, like I said, and move forward from there. There we go, we have started all of the bolts, uh, made some adjustments to the holes where necessary. Now it's just a matter of tightening everything up. So, I've got my 5 16 uh, torque fit here. I did jack the car up a little bit, so I got some clearance so I can actually get in here. And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure I'm going the right direction. And we'll start with these bottom ones here. My battery must be getting a little weak or something. Usually, just suck them things up no problem. But not so this time. So, suck those up tight. Same on this side. Putting these wipers on is exactly the reverse of taking them off. Basically, you just take, set them on, set them in place, get them where you think they need to be, lift up, push in the tab that I told you to pull out before. Wipers are in place. And just like that, tube of views, we have done ourselves a suspension upgrade. So I guess, most likely, unless I do some spirited driving between now and then, 
you guys will get to see how this car runs around the autocross course in, well, in about three weeks. So stay tuned for more action with this Black Fox Body Mustang. Hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, and subscribe to all of the YouTubery things that you have done thus far. And uh, hope to see you soon in another video.